In the last few weeks, I've been using a new powerful tool for AI automations called NADM. If you have heard of automation platforms like Make or Zapier, this is like those but on steroids. In this video series, I'm going to show you the automations I've built and that I'm using every single day for my business and for my personal life. So if you don't want to miss any future videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel. In today's video, I will be walking you through an automation for generating and repurposing content. From just a simple YouTube video ID, this workflow can download the transcript of the video and automatically generate a LinkedIn post along with a series of tweets. And with a few small tweaks, you can apply the same process to repurpose content from any sources, whether it's a blog post, podcast, or anything else. And this is a fantastic way to get the most out of your content with minimal effort. Hey friends, and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Donna, and I've been deep into the world of AI for over three years. In that time, I've helped businesses streamline their processes with automation and AI solutions including things like voice agents and custom workflows. If you're interested in exploring how AI can work for your business, you can book a free discovery call using the link in the description. Before we dive into building this automation, I want to mention that I've been recently starting a school community. It's completely free to join and it's the perfect place to ask questions, connect and participate in live Q&A sessions. The link is also in the description. All right, let's dive into Anaten and build this automation. This automation is about taking a YouTube video and repurposing into different type of content. So here it repurposed it into a LinkedIn post, as you can see right here. And it automatically generated this where I can directly get all of the different thing and paste it directly into LinkedIn, or I can even post it directly to LinkedIn. But in this case, I prefer to have access to it and first check what it generated. The second thing that I also created from that video transcript is this Twitter thread. So here I have the title of the Twitter thread and then I have all of the different tweets under each other that I can directly take and copy paste inside Twitter. I can also directly post that but we don't want to be automatically posting things. I want to be able to check first and then post them there but there is also a way to directly push it into Twitter as well. So how did I create that? Well first we have a manual trigger. This trigger can also be started by actions such as uploading a new YouTube video, for example, but in this case, I want to keep it simple. So it's just a manual one. The second one is about adding the video ID of the video. So here I added this video ID, which is exactly the video ID I took from here and I directly pasted right there. And the next step is YouTube transcript. This is a module that is not available by default here on the node panel that you have to add yourself. So in order to do that, you need to install it locally with Docker. And as I was showing on the first video, and then you need to directly go inside this part here and execute the following commands. So here you have to do docker exec hyphen it nn sh to directly access the nn that instance that you have. The next step is to create the folder where you can add NATN nodes. And then you have to run this command right here, which is npm i and then copy the name of the node. So in this case, this is the name of the node, NATN nodes YouTube transcript. And this will automatically add it directly on the right here. So if I search for YouTube, I have YouTube transcript and I have this icon right here that says that this is a node from the community and say how to get it. Now, the next step after that, once this is set up, is to aggregate. So here, after this is executed, I will get all the different text, the offset and the duration. And this is for the whole transcript of the whole video. And the next step is to aggregate all of that to have an array of text so that I have it like this. So the future where you have humanoid at home folding your laundry is a lot closer than you think, blah, blah, blah. So here I have all of the different text of the transcript. And the next step after that is to add all of that into one single element, which is what I do here with the code block. So the code block allows you to create and add your own code. And here in this case, I just push everything and concatenate everything into one string, which is that string right here. So as you can see, this is the whole transcript now that I have as text and I can continue further. So now I can use this YouTube transcript and send it to OpenAI 
to ask it to generate any type of content. So LinkedIn thread, blog post or whatever you can imagine. In this situation, it will only be a LinkedIn post and also tweets, but you can pretty much uh, generate a description, for example, of the video. And the first automation at the top right here in this three module is to generate a LinkedIn post. So here it will say, based on this YouTube video transcript, write a LinkedIn post for me. You will always add the video link with a CTA. So to say, check out the video here. And then you will always add also another CTA at the end of the post with the link to my Calendly to book an appointment. So in this case here, it's like send me a DM or book a free consulting call right here with my Calendly link and also the tracking with the ID of that video. And then I say for these two ID, you will replace the ID with the provided YouTube ID. Then here I have two other messages, which one of them is the YouTube video transcript. And the second one is the YouTube ID. And here you have the whole post that has been generated. But now it has been generated this with like this following format right here. And I have a couple of backslash n and so on. So I don't want to have these elements here. I want to have just something that I can take and copy and paste. You can also directly upload it to LinkedIn, but I want to have another check. So what I will do is I will edit the field and I will only filter that one field, which is content, and I will return it as post. So here I have now only one field, which is called post. And the next step right here is to convert that into a file. This will allow me to click directly on download and then get this following file right here. So now I can just take this whole thing. I can copy it and I can directly paste it on LinkedIn and my LinkedIn post is generated. So the next time I upload a YouTube video, I can directly put the ID right here and generate directly the LinkedIn post. And the next one is an LLM chain to create the Twitter thread. So here I say, based on this YouTube video transcript, write one Twitter thread. For me with five tweets, you will use emojis and hashtag and also include the CTA at the end. Now I paste the YouTube video ID and the YouTube video transcript. I paste an example. And as you can see here on the right, I have the exact output where I have the title of the Twitter thread. I mean, there's no title in the Twitter thread, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. And then here you can get all the different tweets that I can just copy and also paste directly on Twitter. This workflow is highly customizable, so you can easily update it to fit your needs. If you would rather start with a blog post instead of a YouTube video, just switch out the first part and the rest will work seamlessly. Need to generate a blog post or an email instead of a LinkedIn post? Just tweak the prompt to match your goal. In the next video, we'll dive into how to chat with your document and ask questions directly through a chat interface in NATM. If you don't want to miss it, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.